morning. I'm Courtney Williams, and this is BR Proud Midday for Thursday, January 21st. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. But first, I have to check in with Jasmine, who has the latest on your Thursday forecast. Good morning and happy Thursday. We are continuing that warming trend as we go into the afternoon. We started off in the 60s and we're currently in the upper 60s. As we head into the afternoon, our temperatures will rise to about 73. Very warm for this time of year and throughout most of the day, skies are going to be mostly cloudy. But as we head into the evening, we'll start to see our rain chances increase. So around 5 p.m., there is that chance for a little bit of light rain on your commute home. Rain chances will continue to increase as we head into 8 p.m and then 11 p.m. and temperatures really not going to decline much. By 8 p.m. we're at 66 and by 11 p.m. temperatures around 65. Expect these scattered showers to continue into the morning and throughout the day tomorrow. So if you have an early commute, you'll want the umbrella and maybe you'll want to add a little bit of extra time into your commute just to account for wet roads. Now for the latest on what you can expect with this rain, tune in on NBC Local 33 at 5 to Chief Meteorologist Jesse Gungle's forecast. Thanks for that update, Jasmine. Now it's time to get into your quote of the day. Every day we'll give you a quote from a famous Louisianian, and you have to guess who said it. So today, quote reads, it's, I've been all over the world. I love New York. I love Paris, San Francisco, so many places, but there's no place like New Orleans. It's got the best food. It has the best music. It's got the best people, and it got the most fun stuff to do. So can you guess what Louisianian said? this well we'll tell you at the end of the show getting into your reporter check-in Julia Letlow qualified to fill her late husband's seat after passing away from COVID-19 last month Harrison Golden will have that full recap on how she feels running for office the Capital Area Transit System, along with the Baton Rouge Police Department, is announcing a new public safety initiative for bus riders. Dion Guillory will have those details. Local pool hall Clicks Billiards was forced to close in March of 2020 and want to reopen, un but under Governor Edwards' mandate, they have to remain closed. Jonah Gilmore will talk with staff about how they've been impacted since being closed for almost a year. Taking a look at what's happening on your block, longtime Baton Rouge television personality Donna Britt, who was a constant and beloved president, presence on WAFB for nearly four decades, has passed away. Her husband, Mark Ballard, confirmed she passed away peacefully at home, surrounded by her family. Britt had been battling ALS since 2017. She was 62 years old. The East Baton Rouge Metro Council has delayed a vote to rezone Millennial Park. The owner, Cameron Jackson, was looking to rezone so that businesses can sell alcohol. Some residents living nearby say they would only uh, it would only add to their growing list of safety concerns, which include loud music and drivers parking on their property. The Metro Council's deferral allows the owner to present a new plan to the council at next month's meeting, which is set for February 17th. And today is the last day of free coronavirus testing at the Lamar Dixon Expo Center. Tests are available to anyone two years of age and older. No doctor's note or pre-registration is required. Tests will be administered until 4 o'clock this afternoon today. We posted a list of other testing sites across the Baton Rouge Metro on our website, BeOurProud.com. And if you haven't heard by now, it's now official. New Orleans Jazz Fest will be moved to October. The normally hot and rainy festival has been delayed because of the coronavirus. It was originally scheduled to start in April, and the 2021 Jazz Fest will now run from October 8th through the 17th. Last year marked the first time the 50-year-old festival was canceled. And in case you missed it, one Baton Rouge fashion designer got some national recognition at the inauguration. Christopher John Rogers is the mind behind Vi Vice President Harris's now iconic purple coat. The Baton Rouge Magnet High alum has been designing since he was a teenager, and his friends say this isn't his first time designing for the stars. The 27-year-old was named the 2020 CFDA American Emerging Designer of the Year. His resume also includes des designing for Jennifer Lopez, Tracy Ellis Ross, and Zendaya. 
Now it's time for your answer to that quote of the day. If you missed the quote, it reads, I've been all over the world. I love New York, I love Paris, San Francisco, so many places, but there's no place like New Orleans. It's got the best food, it got, it's got the best music, it's got the best people, it's got the most stuff to do. So did you guess that correctly? Well, today's quote is from Harry Connick Jr. He's known as a musician and also had his own television show. And if you didn't know, he is from New Orleans, Louisiana. Now it's time for Did You See This? One of the most viral moments from the inauguration yesterday was not only the poem nor Michelle Obama's glamorous dress, but Senator Bernie Sanders. The bobblehead commemorates the Vermont senator's posture during the inauguration, as well as Sanders wearing his mask, winter coat, and his unique mittens while sitting in a folding chair. The bobblehead is currently on sale for $25 and are only available through the National Bobblehead Hall of Fame and Museum's website. Viacom CBS has set a launch date for its new streaming service called Paramount Plus. Paramount Plus is an expanded rebrand of CBS All Access. It will offer content from CBS as well as programming from the company's other media outlets on one streaming destination. Viacom says Paramount Plus will have a total of some 30,000 titles. Pricing has not been yet announced. It will be available in the U.S. and several international markets on March 4th. So definitely have to add that to my list of other streaming services. And happening today, you can buy a McDonald's cheeseburger for only 25 cents as part of the fast food chain's ongoing Throwback Thursday deal. But there's a catch. To get that deal, you must order from the McDonald's app and spend at least $1. And on next Thursday, McDonald's is offering another promotion, this time for a small shake for 25 cents with those same restrictions. So if you don't have the McDonald's app, you might want to download it if you're trying to get that cheeseburger for 25 Five cents, but I'm not a fan of cheeseburgers, so I may have to get into that next week's deal. But that pretty much does it for today's edition of BR Proud Midday. You can catch us here every day at 11 o'clock, and you can also find the latest local headlines on NBC Local 33 News at 5, 6, and 10, and Fox 44 at 5:30 and 9 o'clock. And don't forget to download our free BR Proud app. Well, you guys have a great Friday Eve. We'll see you tomorrow.